there's a seven step process for establishing uh, residual torque inspection limits and the follow on program and auditing that makes this successful. Step one, verify that the tool is capable of producing the desired torque. Step two, verify that the tool is capable tightening the joint in question. Step three, collect data, dynamic and static, to calculate residual torque inspection limits. Step four, generate low labor inspection plans. Step five, handle inspections on an individual basis with documentation. Step six, exception reporting in two forms. Number one, report on each individual fastener failure. And number two, report on audit completion. Step seven, audit quality reporting is a measure of was the audit completed on time and at the appropriate spacing. The largest benefit for doing torque studies is having a record of how things were done and allows for elimination of false high readings, false low readings, and being able to find when processes actually go out of spec. It's, it's a follow-on that comes free once you've done them. Thank you.